Okay, guys. I'm going to teach you how to design a product design. What do I mean by product design? Like sales design. So, uh, this product design is for a shoe. As we are going to design it. So, I'll just import the shoe and start the design. So, we'll just go and import the shoe. Remember, as you can see, the size of the design is square. So, just to download the shoe, import the shoe that we need to use. Okay, this is it. So, you know, there are so many products you can design for, not only this. So, this is what I'm using for to teach you. I'm using this to teach you so you can just design for any other thing cap, phone. Just increase it a little bit. First of all, position it at the center. You can see. So Lock this. So I'll change the background. I want to use yellow. Then I'll just add some. I want to add this this way. Make sure you position when you are designing. When you look at what you want to design, you should know where you should position it. So just position this at the center. Take it to back. Then I will add color. I want to use a kind of brownish color you can see so I'm going to duplicate this so take it down to back still duplicate it again it's just the way I want it to be. To back again. So just log this to. Please remember when you want to design, you should just know how you use your colors. Know how you use your colors. So we can just put in this new arrival. Let's use that word. New arrival. Can just put this first new. Then this I'll use black. Position it at the center. Then I want to change the font. A better font. Okay, I think this is okay. And I can just increase the size. Then I will duplicate it. Arrival. this position it this way but I want to change the font I don't want the both of them to have the same font so I'm gonna I will look for a better font for
looking for a good font no this is not okay Okay, let's work with this font. Huh? Okay, let's use this one. So just reduce the size. Resize a little bit again. You can as well capitalize all the text to see how I can look like new arrival. I think this format is okay. Small as so just place this here, place this too. Here, new arrival. If you don't want to do it like this, you can as well just edit this at once. New arrival, then you can get this as well. So you can just delete this, and also you can use this this way, position this way. You can just log it. New arrival, this is just a simple way, just simple product graphic design. So you just say, let's use. 60% off or 60% discount whichever way you want to so you can just add the color and as well use black or use yellow and add stroke black stroke so we just change the font Increase the size. Sixty percent off. Let me change the color. Black. Add stroke. Okay. This is okay. Sixty percent off. This is the size. Then below this side, you can just say add this test shop now. Shop now. So that will be under here. Just add this. Add background color which is black, then you increase the left padding, increase the right button. You can see how I'm increasing them, make it 10 10. Go to the top, bottom. Then you can leave the radius like this as a kind of rectangle shape, or you increase the radius to make. The shape change then you change the color of the text you can see shop now so you can as well reduce this so 
Shopna. So in this 60 percent, I told you either is 60 percent off or 60 percent discount. So we'll use discount. 60 percent discount. So I'll just add discount. If it is discount. So that I'll place under here. Change the color to make it yellow, then you reduce the size. Then you control this 60% discount. So to the discount, just make the discount bold. Yeah. Make it bold 60% discount. So, with this now, then you can just add you know the clients you are designing for will give you address, their social media icons. So, let me just add social media icon just three. You can just add social media icons because they will surely give you. And their address too. They will give you details for the design. So I just want to add just Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So you can you can see this is our social media icon. So I just want to add these three. You reduce it. Position at, at the center this way, then you can now add the test. I, I copy this because I want to edit it. So let's say got simply let's say got simply. in pistols it should be this way good scene got some pistols whichever way they will tell you how to put it so anyhow you want to put it you put it that way the way your clients will give it to you so got some pistols So let's say this is where you can get the shoe. So we'll just the test is yellow, that's why you're not seeing it. So we'll change it to black. It's black. Just reduce the test size. Fifteen is okay. simply stores so as you can see see how the design is so you can as well add a little background to this design too to make it look more better if you leave it like the it might not look better for your client so I just want to add a kind of bubbles to the background So I'll just add bubbles and some little things to the background. So you can see you can see the bubbles is a PNG file. So anything you need, if you just download it as a PNG file. So this is the bubbles. At least this will bring out the beauty in this design so 
you increase it then you position it at the center just this way then take to back when you take to back you will not leave it like this because it will reflect on the design so what you just do you reduce the opacity you can see you reduce the opacity so this is it you can see the design is coming out to become something good just look it's like to not move again then you can just as well add i want to add another thing so all these things just little little things i used to make design to be beautiful So I just want to add I want to add some of this to the design, especially this arrow, this kind of direction. So okay, you can see. It. I just rotate it this way. You see this way, change the color to black. So all these things make design to be beautiful too. Let's add beauty. To design so you just like this and you still have another one to add you can as well duplicate this one this other one you just add when you you copy then when you copy you crop it will show back this and you pick another this thing you want to add in that in this design so you can pick this one as well Pick this one as well. You can see it's not looking bright because she crop it, but when you save it, it will be bright. That's how it used to be. So you just reduce the size. Because all these things is to help and make designs very beautiful so let me just import one more and add so i'll just save it and see how the design look like Okay, I want to add this one. This is what I want to add. So I just crop it a little bit. I click on this cycle button. So that's it. You need to crop your. So I can as well place this here. Just reduce the size a little bit. Change the color to black. So now you can save your pro save as project in case of any correction your clients want to correct. You can come back and just do the correction. And so you can just say shoe shoe product design. So I'll save that. 
then now we'll save as image. Remember, when you want to save the dimension, that the quality should be ultra, so it will be very high. It will have a high quality when you send it to your client. So we'll save. So after saving it, there is a way you can present the design to your client and the client will be like, wow, this is good. Some clients, you send them like this, not that it's not, it's not good like this, it's good like this, but you can still present it in a, a manner that when the client sees it, it will look very perfect. So we'll just, I just I want to hide all this, I, all this. The only thing I need is the yellow background, so I want to hide everything. So you can see, this is the yellow background. So now I will import the image and show you the, how to present it. So we we'll just go, we import the image. You know, we we'll just save the image. It's the image I recently saved now. So no need of going to the gallery. Just here, recent image on phone. You just click on the first one. You see the image itself. This is it. So we'll just increase this. So I want to present it now. You have seen it just you log this presenting it like this will not be good. So I want to add something. So I'm taking this this way. There are so many ways of presenting it. And this is it. So I'll change the color of this particular shape. This is the shape now. Now I'll send this shape to back. To back. I see a kind of a new dimension of presenting it. So I will then click on the image itself and add shadow to the image. Now see. I see the design the way it looks like now. I add a shadow, just shadow I added. So you can see edit the shadow you can edit the shadow if you still want to edit it like if you don't like the shadow is appearing on the square either you can still increase it or you, if you did it will not be so you can still shift the shadow to this aspect which is at the left side then if you increase this it will be coming down aspect so you can see the way it is so but I would just like the shadow to just be normal. Normal. Just bring back this to zero. Take take back this to zero too. So this is it. The wall if you present it like this. When you're playing it, it'll be like wow. This is nice. Okay, guys, that's all on product graphics. So, if you want to design, there are so many ways you can just present it. So, this is one of the ways. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.